Hi ho, one and all. Sid here, and I'm bringing you a new video clip today. Sure, one you've heard about often enough over this internet, and that would be Shields versus Paul. I mean, what do you think down in the comments? I like Shields. She is good, but I think she might be just a tad arrogant. Us to fight against a man mean the fight would have to be fixed somehow, as in two minute rounds, for example. He may not be able to really throw punches like he should. And it's just a lot of things that are, would be sanctioned. She seems to think she can beat a man. She said that about Keith Thurman. She said that about a couple of others. And now she's saying that about Jake Paul. Okay, I have to give it to her. She does have boxing experience over Jake Paul, for sure. And experience is everything. But I want you to take a look at this one clip here, okay? This was this was sparring against Artur's Amatovs. And Shield clearly caught one of his left hooks and found herself on her back very quickly. Check out this video. Unbelievable, huh? And Arturo's Amatovs was not a big name. I think he had like six wins, something like that. Uh, he's retired now, so this was like about five or so years ago. But how can you come forth and say that you're ready to start fighting men when you can't hold your own against a fighter with six fights under his belt. Tell me in the comments what you think about that. Personally, but that's my opinion. If you can't fight against a man and really hold your own who has only six fights and you really don't have any business challenging, well, as I said before, Jake Paul does not have the experience that she has, but he is he is bigger and he can hit harder. So that would make a determining factor. If she had good footwork, it wouldn't make much difference, but oh well. Anyway, she would like to fight Jake Paul. And now here are two people who are giving their opinions about this fight. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. Let's get to Jake Paul for a second. Um, Jake Paul, so... <laughs> The fight has been postponed with... No, she did not say that. Jake Paul, is he a boxer? Lady, what rock did you crawl out from under? Of course he's a boxer. He doesn't have a big name like Muhammad Ali or Mike Tyson or someone like that, but everybody knows about Jake Paul except you. Continue. Mike Tyson, uh, and and to me, this is just turning out to be more and more of a circus. I even think Mike Tyson is looking ridiculous at this point. I, I just, I can't, I love Mike Tyson. He's been an idol. He's been one of the greatest fighters to ever live. And for what Mike Tyson is doing now, even entertaining this, even giving Jake Paul this moment to shine is, to me, disrespectful to the sport. I wish Mike would just stay away from this. Well, I wouldn't touch this with a 10-foot pole if I was Mike Tyson. I feel like Mike Tyson is above this. Even if he was 80, he doesn't need He. This is Jake Paul stealing Mike Tyson's clout, stealing his legacy for himself. And Jake Paul doesn't want – let's be honest. Jake Paul does not want to fight real fighters. Mike Tyson can do whatever he wants to do, look as impressive as he wants to look, but he's 60 years old. Of course, that's correct. However, Mike is agreeing to fight him because Mike kind of needs the money here a little bit. Not need it, need it, but he does. It would set him in a better financial position. Let's put it that way. And after all, Mike did not challenge Jake. Jake challenged Mike. So just for the record. And of course, Mike's age being a factor. 
Don't forget, Mike has more experience in his pinky finger than Jake Paul has in his whole body. So that's the reason I think Mike would win. Okay? I honestly think that Mike would win because Mike has movement. He still has his punching power. And, of course, he is Mike Tyson. He knows how to deal with situations that Jake Paul has not even experienced yet. So let's continue. Um, and so to me, uh, I, I got to call it for what it is. Uh, my, Jake Paul does not want to fight real fighters. And now Jake Paul is getting called out by a female fighter, um, Clarissa Shields, who is actually a world champion, who says, I'll take on, I'll take on Jake Paul. I'll fight him. Not a problem. Play this right here. So basically, she's saying, hey, look, you've been training. Let's do this. I'll take the fight. Yeah. She said this about a few men. But as I said before, check this video here. And you tell me what you think. Let's continue. Now, to me, Jay Paul's already a circus. But for Clarissa Shields to come out and say, I'll fight him, just go for it, dude. This is really what you want to do anyway. Uh, this is exactly what Jake Paul wants anyway. He, he wants the notoriety, the fame, right? He wants the he wants the action. He wants the circus. I would say this is one fight that I actually would say go for it. Well, she also wants some type of validation, too. And her ego is really running rampant here. <laughs> so, continue. I think everything that Jake Paul does since he became a little YouTuber and TikToker is, uh, you know, doing all this stuff, it's all, like you said, for attention. Everything he does is a publicity stunt. Of course, lady. <laughs> everything he's done has been a, about a publicity stunt. Uh, since his early days in YouTube. Uh, lady, you need to <laughs> brush up on your facts before you give your uh, comments about things. <laughs> Let's move along. He challenged an, Mike Tyson, who is not in his prime. Prime Mike Tyson would knock him out in one punch. Well, I got a hand to that one. She got that one right. She knows who Mike Tyson is. That's good. Continue. You know, Mike Tyson in his prime. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Mike Tyson doesn't need this. It's it's just kind of a joke at this point. I don't even think it feels like the fight was never really going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, it feels like it was just a huge money-making grab and, and a thing. But now he's got a woman. Uh, Clarissa Shields. Her name is Clarissa Shields. Yeah, she's she's actually very tough. Whoops, she forgot Clarissa Shields' name. Come on, lady, you got to step your game up a little bit. Continue. Yeah, she. Uh, uh, I. Yes, yeah, she. Uh, uh, uh. What's going on? Did you even do your homework? Continue. I think. Uh, you know why not? You know, she's willing to to go in the No, room. keep this that's what I'm saying. Keep this circus going. You're a you're a sideshow. You don't take you don't take boxing serious anyway. So go ahead and fight the woman fighter. Do it because that's all you are is a sideshow. All you are is a circus. Fight the woman fighter because that's what you're doing. You're making a big mockery of the sport. He's making a mockery out of the sport. So fight a woman fighter. You want to yeah. fight an old sixty year old Mike Tyson? No, 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 no. Fight a woman fighter who actually could beat you. Maybe. <laughs> only if she has good footwork and if she can get her punches off first. That's the only way I see her beating him. But she does have lots of, lots of experience. So let's continue. She could beat Jake Paul. Clarissa Shields, 
Call him out more. Get him in the ring with you. Jake Paul, fight Clarissa Shields. Fighter. This- yeah. Fighter, Jake. That ought to be something to see, right? <laughs> Continue. This is you. I'm talking to you personally. Fight Clarissa Shields. I'm going to bet on her knocking your ass out. Oh, that's kind of a tall order there, dude. <laughs> All right. Continue. Speechless, huh? <laughs> make it happen. That's what I'm saying. Let's make it happen. I mean, I would watch that. I would watch her not the Jesus side of him because you're right. It is just like it's a game to him. I think you know he trains and he does what he he does, but he's not by any means wouldn't put him in as a professional boxer. Um, Look. But, He's a C minus fighter at best. He's a C minus huh? fighter at best. He's a C minus, D minus maybe at best. Um, Lady, after he fights Mike Tyson, he will be considered a professional fighter. <laughs> I think he didn't fight anybody yet. Um, MMA, he fought somebody in the MMA. But after he fights Mike Tyson, then he'll be considered a professional. As ridiculous as that may sound. <laughs> Continue. Realistically speaking, could he beat Clarissa Shields? I'm going to have to say yes, but I would find it very entertaining. And I would give her a chance. I would. Well, the only chance I would give her is if her footwork was really that slick. Because, I don't know, Clarissa Shields is good, but I, I just don't think she has no any knockout real knockout power i've never seen her knock anybody out but she has gotten up from being knocked down so she has a pretty good chin i gotta give her that continue give her a chance against jake paul because he is a clown show and that's just my opinion so um you know i i i think it's a it's a big Joke. Very well put. It's a big joke, but they're milking it for what it's worth. They're milking it for what it's worth. <laughs> what I have on the thumbnail of this video, earnest or farce? <laughs> what do you think? You tell me. Do you think this fight should be taken seriously? Do you think it should even materialize? Is going to be heavily sanctioned if it does and it's kind of ridiculous but for the sake of validation some people will do just anything and so is this well let me hear your comments in the bottom there and please make sure that you like share and subscribe the channel will appreciate that and so would i and that would help us keep us going here so until the next time, this is said at Boxing Popery TV saying, take care, be mindful, peace out.